Okay, next I want to talk about some fun stuff that, um, that, that, that me and my friend uh, Zach did. And this was, uh, we actually installed a, a tow hitch uh, on my Model 3. Um, so let me pull up the video here and show you kind of what's going on with this. Um, and I do have uh, s some funny comments uh, to share with you on that. So there it is. There's the tow hitch on the Model 3. And we pulled uh, my son's uh, Model 3, his, or I'm sorry, his kid's Model S, in a trailer that was 1,700 pounds. Now, this is the Eco Hitch from Torque Lift Central, and it's rated to pull 2,000 pounds. So when you do 2,000 pounds, you do 1,700 pounds there, uh, plus the, I think, 30 or 40 pounds from that the Mini Model S, and then Zach standing on it, who's got to be 200 pounds uh, at least, you know, we're pretty close to the max weight. Um, and so we had a fun, uh, a fun time doing this. You can go check that out uh, over on his channel, uh, Jerry Rig Everything. And so I'll put a link to that uh, down below. Um, the basic idea, let me fast forward to some of the parts where we actually have it going. Yeah, installing here. Um, the idea with this is that you actually need to uh, have like a bike rack or something because this is an aftermarket no drill uh, setup. You can see exactly how you have to install it in the video there. We kind of he kind of goes through it in, in great detail. Um, but then the thing after that is there's no brake light connection. Now see with any trailer in California and in a lot of states, you need to actually have the connection. So when you hit the brakes in your car, it will also hit the brakes um, or it'll, uh, the lights will come up on the trailer. So unless you're in a state that allows, you know, that doesn't require that at maybe a smaller size trailer or something, um, that, you know, you can't actually tow a trailer. So we were doing this just as a demonstration to see kind of how it would perform in a parking lot, as you can see there in kind of a, a closed setting. So that, that was the video. Uh, it was fun. I think what I'm going to use it for in reality is carrying bikes because one of the challenges with the Model 3, especially if you want to like take your family on a bike ride and you need to go drive somewhere cool, like in San Diego, we have Coronado Island, which is a beautiful place to go ride your bikes in. I don't have any room to take the bikes plus the family plus beach gear, whatever else. So I think that's what I'll mostly be using it for. Um, also, we have some other kind of wild ideas on what to do, uh, but it, it was a pretty fun project. Um, one thing about it, and let me see if I can find, find the point in the video. One thing about it, we actually had to cut a hole in the uh, in the bumper right there. So you can see we actually had to cut this out because this is where the tow hitch goes. The tow hitch fits underneath, uh, meaning that it, it's completely hidden when it's not installed. Um, and the way that works is there you have to cut a hole in this bumper. Now, one of the things about that is that uh, people have reported, or there were a couple cases recently say, saying that um, people's bumpers fell off um, after some rain. And in theory, the way that would work, so you understand, is that this this bottom bumper part would get filled with water and then be so heavy it would rip off of the vehicle. Now that is possible, and sometimes can you know things can be installed improperly. However, I'm still going to go on on saying that that's extremely unlikely. And somebody uh, emailed uh, us saying that, oh my God, you, you, you cut a hole in your bumper. Now, imagine how quickly water will get in there. Well, the good news is that uh, if water can get in through this hole, it also can get out through this hole. And when we took this off, when we actually took the bumper off, I don't know if I can find it for you, uh, there were tons of rocks and stuff in there. So it was it was kind of, kind of interesting. I was a little concerned because, I mean, I haven't been off-roading in this car or doing anything crazy. I mean, you know, jumping it and, and driving around generally, but it's not something that, um, you know, it, I was surprised to see it. So let me see if I can find the, the point where we took it off. Because it, it was it was packed with uh, w with little dirt and debris. So, anyways, after we we cut a hole in it, um, you install it. There you go. That's what that looks like. Now you can see essentially we have a spot here for water debris to exit, which is great. So I think like that's that's actually a win in this case. Now, for the record, I'm not suggesting you go cut a hole in this just for that sake. Uh, I'm not suggesting that at all. I am just saying that, you know, um, if you want to install a tow hitch, it is possible. Uh, and I'll put a link to this video where you can see kind of the full detail of how we did that. It took a couple hours and that was with us filming every bit of it. So if you didn't have to do that, um, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. You know, you need a couple specialty uh, uh, screws, uh, screw bits and things like that. But in general, it, it wasn't that hard. So um, there you have it. Let me know what you guys uh, think about that because 
um, yeah, the results are pretty awesome. This is some pretty fun footage uh, that, that we got that we got there. So go check that video out, I, and um, I, I hope you guys enjoy.